And, and others will be traveling to Denver uh, about a month from now, June 22nd, uh, for the enthronement of our new Metropolitan uh, Constantine, who is not an unfamiliar face to any of us. Uh, it is a blessing now to have uh, him in that, that role as we continue to pray uh, for Metropolitan Isaiah and for his health and his well-being. But we also welcome in the blessings of the Lord our new Metropolitan uh, who has already been serving us in many ways uh, throughout uh, the metropolis. Uh, we, I have been in, in communication with him uh, on a number of occasions uh, because of the work that we're doing in our small communities. Uh, in fact, this past year he visited St. Stephen Mission uh, twice. Once was a three-day uh, journey where we started at St. Stephen in Stephenville. The next day we were at Holy Cross in Wichita Falls, and the next day we were at Sum Assumption in San Angelo. And then he came back for our feast day, around our feast day uh, at the end of the year. And he is guiding us as we work together with your support and sponsorship. St. Demetrius being our sponsor parish for our mission, uh, which it continues to grow. We just continue to see new people coming to the faith coming as inquirers, coming as catechumens, and being received into the church. And it's hard to believe that for three and a half years now that we have been growing our mission, uh, which is a wonderful thing, but it also when you rent space, it can also be a challenging thing. But our focus first and foremost has been on meeting the immediate needs of our people. And that is where a church exists, no matter if there's a church structure or whatever they may be, if the people of God are coming together, as we saw with the early Christians, and they are meeting the needs of one another, that is where the church is. That is where Christ's presence is. And so on one hand, on one thing, I want to thank all of you and the support of St. Demetrios in many ways uh, for our mission. The road ahead of us, as blessed by His Eminence Metropolitan Constantine, uh, is that we continue in what we're doing uh, as a mission, uh, offering services and ministry and, and working together with one another in the body of Christ, but that we all look ahead as well uh, to the potential of forming a parish. And so we don't know, as God leads, how far in the future that is. Uh, some of that involves space, right, constraints of space, where right now we in the chapel we meet, which seats about 100. We are now regularly above half of that in, in, in uh, attendance, but our fellowship space is very small. There's a hall next to this chapel, which is on the museum grounds in Stephenville, and uh, we can only seat about 45 when we have uh, meals and so on, so we are just asking for God's uh, leading. This is a little bit different than... Many of us, if you've experienced a, a starting of a church, uh, many of these that we have seen over uh, the time of our archdiocese and our metropolis are in cities. Uh, we are in Stephenville, which is a very rural area, and many of our people come from about a 30-mile uh, a radius uh, from that area. And we actually sat down and we looked at the map and the, the center of the area of where all our people are is on a, a rural highway between Stephenville and Glen Rose. Uh, and so one of the things that we've been praying about and just asking for God's leading is the possibility of, of having a, a, a place and eventually a church that is in a rural setting. It's not in a city, it's out in, in, uh, in the farmland and out in the, you know, out in the rural area because it's accessible to all of the people that we are serving. And so we ask for your prayers. That's a little bit different today when people thought, oh, you want a church where the people are. Well, it's the same principle. Our people are spread out through about five or six different communities uh, in that region. And so to have a church that would serve the needs of the people would be to have it accessible to them so that we can have the services both on Sundays but also during the week. This year we had our very first Holy Week in Stephenville. Uh, we started on Lazarus Saturday. I had to go to San Angelo for a couple of services before the priest who was helping could be there. And I came back, and from Monday night through uh, 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 the Agape Vespers, we had a, a full Holy Week, uh, the first time in Stephenville. And it was a blessed week uh, for all of us. So again, we ask for your continued prayers. I ask for your prayers as I travel. Uh, I next 
weekend I will be in San Angelo. The next weekend I'll be in Wichita Falls. Next weekend I will be in Stephenville, which is where I live, so that makes it a little more accessible. But our communities, these small communities, we are praying and asking God to guide us. And really, we need a new model. We, these are communities that are not uh, able to support a full-time priest, uh, but they are growing communities that need a pastor. They need a shepherd. They need a priest there who can guide and lead. And, and so we are hoping and praying that God will send us people who, like myself, are bivocational. I have a full-time, what I call, tent-making job uh, of teaching at Tarleton State, uh, but that provides me with the opportunity to go and to serve and to offer what we can to these communities as well as for, to work with the beautiful people, many of who are here this morning, who have joined us for worship here uh, to build a mission, a church, a witness of the Orthodox faith uh, in Stephenville. So again, thank you so much. I, I offer publicly to my thanks to Father Nicholas because he's been so supportive along the way. And I know all of you and your prayers and your gifts and the things that have helped us, God has provided for all of our needs. And we continue to just offer a witness in our community and in the region uh, in order to bring the Orthodox faith to people in rural central Texas, right? So thank you again for the opportunity to be here. I pray that you will continue to have a blessed Paschal season as we look forward to the celebration of mid-Pentecost this week and then the Ascension and the Feast of Holy Pentecost. And I know that you're doing some amazing and exciting things here at St. Demetrios as well. Know that our prayers and support are with you as you uh, strengthen your community and you continue to offer a witness of faith here in Fort Worth and beyond. May the blessings of the risen Lord be with all of you. Please, you're welcome to come forward and receive the Enditeron. I, I wasn't sure, is there a coffee hour? or Okay, there is. Okay, I knew there's some construction I understand that's going on. Uh, but uh, please, uh, if you're visiting here today, uh, I'm Father Nectarios. Father Nicholas is the uh, uh, parish priest here, the Proestaminos, and uh, he will be more than happy to uh, visit with you uh, when he returns. Uh, but please join us for fellowship in the joy of our risen Lord. Amen.